Greetings, folks. I'm on the Norwegian Viva. This was an inaugural cruise. I filmed the entire ship. I'm going to give you a quick preview. This right here is the main pool area. Right through here, right past the main pool area, is the buffet area. Then there is the grill right here in the back. And all the way in the back is the Vibe Beach Club. So we're going to go ahead and head on back over to the main pool area. The main pool area is right here midship. Now, if you look around in this area, you'll notice that the go-kart track is right above the pool bar. So it's really cool. When you're here in the main pool area, you'll see the go-karts going around. Waves Pool Bar is right in front of the pool area. There are nice stools that you can sit at, relax, and enjoy a drink. Or you can just grab one and go right over to the pool or to one of the hot tubs right here. There are hot tubs on either side. On this side, there's a canopy over the hot tub, and on the other side, there is not. If we go on the other side of the pool and up the stairs, we're going to go up onto the sun deck. The sun deck has plenty of chairs where you can sit and relax, and this is also the smoking area in the corner. Leaving the main pool area, going up a deck, this right here is the kids' splash area. It's really cool. There are plenty of chairs so parents can relax, lie in the sun while they're watching their kids. Up a deck is the water slide. Take a look at this. This is a really cool water slide. You're gonna get on a little tube. You're gonna go through it. You're gonna go up right here and you're gonna come down at the main pool area. People really like this slide because it's fun when you go up and down that bowl right there. This is the Vibe Beach Club. This is all the way at the back of the ship. This is an exclusive area for anyone who has bought either a day or a weekly pass. There are hot tubs on either side. They have excellent views of the ocean. So cruisers really like to sit here, relax, and just take in the views. There's a really cool circular bar right here, which is really nice. People sit all around it, enjoy each other's conversation, and enjoy the atmosphere. Remember, this is an exclusive area, so you can reserve a chair. So get here early, find the seat that you want, put your towel down, and relax for the rest of the day. Is what a lot of people like to do is get a chair with views of the ocean. If you would like to immerse yourself in a virtual reality world, head on into the Galaxy Pavilion. It's right here on Deck 17. And the corner of the Galaxy Pavilion is the escape room. So come on in and try to get yourself out. It's not as easy as it looks. When I went here to film, there was nobody around. I was afraid I was going to get locked in. <laughs> Think of the Galaxy Pavilion as your own virtual world. You can have a ball on race cars where you race against your peers. Or you can head on over to the simulators and enjoy really awesome games like golf or soccer, or you can race motorcycles. You can get into a four wheel drive and go on your own race course where the actual car feels like you're truly driving a race car. Or you can head in to your own little area where you have to shoot aliens and survive. It's a good idea to make a reservation before you come in, you can do that via the Norwegian app. So make sure you download that before you get on board. Let's head on into the observation lounge. If you like the ocean and you like amazing views and a controlled atmosphere, then you're gonna love the observation lounge. There are panoramic views from floor to ceiling, which go all the way around the front of the ship. For your convenience, there is a bar right here where you can grab a delicious mixed drink while you enjoy the views. And there is also food served at certain times. If you want to come in here and grab a snack, make sure you know what times they are being served. It will depend on the sailing. Let's head on into the Surfside Cafe. This is the buffet area of the Norwegian Viva. It is right here in the pool area. Folks, did you know that the Norwegian Prima is just like the Norwegian Viva? That's right. And if you want to book either one of those ships or any Norwegian ship, make sure you give me a call. You will be so glad you did. Is what we do is amazing. We offer discounted rates. That's right. Norwegian actually offers their cabins to us so we can pass on discounted savings to you. It is awesome. All of our clients, when they call us, are so glad they did. Because everybody wants to save money. And you do too. Don't you? Of course you do. So give us a call. Keep in mind, to get the discounted rate, you must call us because these are 
unpublished rates that only we have access to. And when you call us, we're going to pass those savings right on to you. Folks, the buffet area is included in your cruise fare, and it's open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. There are also other complimentary dining venues on board, but besides complimentary, there are also specialty dining venues. This is one. This is Palomar. They first opened up Palomar on the Norwegian Prima, and it's also here on the Norwegian Viva. It is a Mediterranean style restaurant. It has excellent views off the side of the ship, whether you eat here in the early evening or at night. Over here is Food Republic. Here you can enjoy many different types of appetizers, such as sushi, Mexican food, noodles, or handhelds. The cool thing about this restaurant is that when you sit down, you're going to order right on the iPad right here. So it's just going to come right to you. Let's take a look at Pulse. This is the gym. You can see that it is open early in the morning because I'm here at 6 a.m. There's nobody here, but somebody was walking in as I was walking out. So people are working out early and it's open until late at night. Now, if you like to come in earlier, you can get permission and they will let you in at an earlier time. Let's head on into the Mandara Spa and Salon. When you first walk in, you'll see the counter. Over to the right is a nice little waiting room. Right past the waiting room is the barber shop. So guys, you can get a haircut or a beard trim. Ladies, the salon is right next to the barber shop. Come on in, get your nails done, get your hair done. Right past the counter are the thermal suites. Here you can enjoy a beautiful flasso therapy pool. It's heated, it's nice to get in but there are also nice comfy chairs all throughout the entire area. Some are heated all the way at the front of the ship. There are panoramic views. You can grab one of the comfortable seats over here, or you can sit all the way at the front. Now, a lot of people like to come in here after they go into one of my favorite areas, which is where you'll find the steam room, the infrared sauna, the salt room, the charcoal room, the finished sauna, and one of my favorite rooms, the cold room. It's awesome to go into the steam room and then head on over to the cold room. Keep in mind that it is a full meta spa. They have many different treatments. Is what you're gonna wanna do, folks, is come on in the first day. They will give you a full tour and explain all the treatments to you and the pricing. Let's go on into the Haven area. This area is exclusive for those guests who booked a Haven suite. The bar is amazing. It has panoramic views and has become a favorite among Haven guests. The entire area is full of comfortable places to sit. You'll find couches, chairs, there's a concierge area. So with the Haven, there are many perks that you receive. For example, you get priority check-in on boarding day. Somebody's going to escort you to your suite. White tablecloth suite dining. Sparkling wine champagne in your suite on embarkation day. 24-hour concierge and butler service. And right here is your own exclusive restaurant where you can have breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Another amazing amenity in the Haven area is the pool area. It's all the way here at the back of the ship. There are plenty of comfortable, nice cabanas and chairs that you can lie out in the sun. There is a sauna and right next to the sauna is a cold room. Keep in mind that when you book a Haven, most times you're gonna get a lot more amenities in the form of a dining and a drinking package. When you call us, ask us about Haven Suites and ask us exactly what's included. You're going to need to know that. Right above the Vibe Beach Club is the Speedway Bar. This bar is a perfect spot to hang out and have a drink so you can enjoy the views, especially right after you ride the go-karts. The go-karts are fun. You can race. The fun thing about the go-karts is, is that sometimes they're not paying attention and you can get a little rough out there. Right around the corner from the Speedway Bar is the drop. This is a dry slide. You're going to get in that little bag and you're going to go all the way down the side of the ship and you're going to end up right here on deck eight. It is amazing. Right behind the drop is tea time. Here you can get your golf game on 
play some darts and on the other side there are also plenty of entertainment and activities that you can participate in is what i recommend is head on over to the speedway bar grab yourself a drink play a little bit of golf come on over to the dartboard see who's better when was the last time you played darts it's a lot of fun so come on over and check it out now directly on the other side is the stadium here you're gonna find even more activities as i was saying there are ping pong tables you can play beer pong foosball take a look at these foosball tables they are you Mungus. Right on the other side of the ping pong tables is paddle ball. Wow. Isn't that cool? Right here is the rush. These are two dry slides where you can race your friend down right to the bottom and these also end up on deck eight. Let's take a look at the platform where you can view all of the go-karts as they race around the track. If you would like to ride the go-karts while you are on board, it is recommended that you make your reservation beforehand. It fills up pretty quick. You can just show up, but then you're going to have to wait for an opening. The best thing that you can do is just go ahead and make a reservation on the Norwegian app. Let's head on down to the lower decks. We're going to go to deck eight. I'm going to give you a quick preview. Right here is the whiskey bar. Right after that are some shops. Then the photo gallery. Right here, we're going to go through the local. Right behind the local is Indulge Food Hall. And then all the way at the back is the Soleil Bar. This bar is a absolute favorite among cruisers because it has amazing views out the back of the ship. Also, the bar has comfortable stools with comfortable couches and chairs all around. So it's very common for cruisers to grab a drink, come on over to one of the lounge chairs, relax, and just enjoy the views while you're leaving port or when you're coming in port in the morning. Folks, let's check out Indulge Food Hall. This is also another favorite among cruisers because you can dine around the world here from Italy to India all the way to Latin America. You can get any type of dessert, many different types of pasta, you can get a specialty salad or something as simple as an empanada. Check it out, folks. This area is 100% complimentary. That is amazing. There are specialty dining venues on board, and we're going to check those out here in a little bit. But check this out, guys. When you book a Norwegian cruise, a lot of times they have excellent promotions, and we offer all the same promotions that Norwegian offers you. But in addition, remember, we're going to give you that exclusive agency discount that is exclusive only to us. So even though we're going to provide you with all of the same promotions that Norwegian offers, we're still going to offer you that special discount. Now, when you give us a call, here's what you're going to want to ask. Is a dining package included so that I can dine in specialty restaurants? Is the drink package included? Because I want to drink for free. When you call us, guess what? We're going to have those answers for you. Keep in mind that when you come into the food hall, you're going to place your order on this iPad right here. As soon as you hit order, the server is going to bring your food right out to your table. It's amazing. Now, you can either eat inside or outside on deck eight. Let's head on into The Local. This is a bar that's also on deck eight. It's right in front of the food hall. The Local offers a classic pub atmosphere. The cool thing about this spot is, is that not only can you sit here and get a drink, but you can also order food here from the grill. You can enjoy sporting events on the big screen and live music. Now, if you want another setting where you can go in and sit down and have a meal, you can go into the local grill where they have tables and chairs. You can enjoy hamburgers, hot dogs, wings, things like that. Let's head on out to Ocean Boulevard. This is deck eight. Remember, this is where the slides end up from the upper decks. There are a couple of really cool infinity pools out here and plenty of places to sit. Now there is an infinity pool on either side, so it doesn't matter from what side you go out on, you're gonna find one of these pools. As what I recommend is figure out where the sun's gonna be because that's the side you're gonna wanna be on. Let's take a look at Los Lobos. Los Lobos is part of the specialty dining. It is the Mexican restaurant. 
Now keep in mind that specialty is an additional charge. Another specialty restaurant is owned by Scarpetta. This is the Italian restaurant. Don't get caught up on specialty being an additional charge. Because remember, there are plenty of other complimentary restaurants available. This is the photo gallery. Folks, photographers are all over the ship and they're going to be taking photos of you. If you want to come see those photos, come on over to one of the screens, swipe your card, put in your cabin number. All the photos are going to pop up. As we're making our way toward the front of the ship, we're going to come right into the atrium. All three decks converge right here. This is the whiskey bar. It's right in front of Onda. The whiskey bar offers premium whiskeys. And here's what I like to do. I like to come up to the whiskey bar, open up the menu and try different types. For example, have you ever had an old fashioned? Well, try one, or you can try something else you've never tried before. Let's head on into the theater. The theater is all the way at the front of the ship. And you can go into the theater from either deck six, seven, or eight. Here in the theater, you're going to enjoy amazing shows. Make sure you stop by the bar, grab a drink right before you have a seat. For any of the shows, you want to get here about 15 to 20 minutes early. That way you can get a good seat up front. Now this theater at night, take a look at this. It turns into a club. It is awesome. They're going to pull all those seats back, open up the entire area. A lot of people like to come down here and dance. And for special concerts, VIPs will be able to come up here and watch the band. Let's preview Deck 7. First, we're going to come up to Starbucks. Then, the Art Gallery. Sid Norman's. The Improv. Right after that is the Metropolitan Bar. Then, Nama. Hasuki. And all the way in the back with panoramic views is Hudson's. So let's go ahead and start off right here at the back of the ship. We're going to take a tour of Hudson's. This is part of the main dining, which means it is included in your cruise fare. There are two main dining rooms. This one is the bigger of the two, and I do like it a lot better. Right over here is Hasuki. This is part of the specialty dining. It is the Japanese steakhouse. Here, they're going to cook the food right in front of you. If you are with a small party, keep in mind that they most likely will seat you with another party or two other parties. Let's take a look at the sushi restaurant. You can either come over here and sit at the bar, watch them make the sushi. It's a la carte, or you can sit over at one of the tables. Let's head on into the Metropolitan. One of the things that I liked about this bar is that they have a wider array of drinks. So if you're with a bigger party and everyone likes different cocktails, this is a perfect bar for you. Also, you can enjoy live music here. Let's head on into the Umidor Lounge. This is where you can enjoy a nice cigar. You can either bring your own or you can buy one while you're on board. Let's head on over to the next venue. We're going to go into the Bistro. This is the French restaurant. This is part of the specialty dining. Now, if you would like to know the difference between all of the specialty and complimentary dining venues on board, check out the link I've placed down below the description of the video. It will explain each of the venues in detail and give you the pricing. Do you like live music and good booze? If you do, head on in to Sid Norman's. It's a cozy atmosphere where you can enjoy that old school rock that you grew up with. Right across the hall is the Improv. Here you can enjoy live comedians and at night you can enjoy DJs and dancing. The comedians here were hilarious, so I highly recommend you come on in. Take a look at this. We are back in the atrium. Remember, all three decks converge right here. Let's take a look at guest services. Folks, while you are on board, if you have any questions, you can head on over here. We're at deck seven. We're at the front of the ship. They'll help you out and answer any of your questions. This area, you'll also find a lot of the stores. They have premium watches. One of the cool things that you can find here that you cannot find anywhere else are Rolex watches. Over here is the shore excursion desk. 
I recommend that you book all your excursions via the app after you do your online check-in. But if you need to, you can book them here. Right next to the Shore Excursions desk is Starbucks. Order a specialty coffee. You can head on over and enjoy the atmosphere. As what a lot of people like to do is come on in in the morning, grab a coffee, and begin to think about their excursions or whatever they're going to do that day. There are cool little pods over here if you want to have a seat and charge one of your devices. Let's do a quick walkthrough of Deck 6. This is the Penrose Bar. Over here is Next Cruise. Then we're going to go through the Casino. And all the way in the back is the Commodore Room. The Commodore Room is also part of the complimentary dining. It's the main dining room. The way the main dining works on Norwegian ships is that they utilize the freestyle dining option. So you can come in and dine whenever the restaurants are open and they're open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. This is the Belvedere Bar. Enjoy a delicious mixed drink in an upscale atmosphere. Keep in mind that not all bars serve all drinks. So it's a good idea to take a look at the menu before you order your drink. This is Cagney's Steakhouse. This is part of the specialty dining. Keep in mind, folks, that when you call us, you are definitely going to want to ask us about those promotions. If you dine in Cagney's, keep in mind that you get four courses for one price. You're not going to pay for each course. You're not going to pay for an appetizer, a meal. It's all included. Let's take a look at the casino. The casino is right past the Penrose Bar. You can enjoy card games, roulette, fraps. They offer tournaments throughout the entire cruise. If you don't know how to gamble, they offer courses throughout the cruise where you can learn. There is also a separate smoking section for this casino, which I really like. If you plan on gambling, remember to bring cash on board. If you get cash here, there is going to be a fee. Behind the Penrose Bar, take a look at this, is the high roller section where you can play Baccarat or Blackjack. We're back here in the atrium, folks. This is the Penrose Bar and kind of the heart of the ship. This is a huge meetup point. It's right in front of the theater, so a lot of people will come here either before or after a show, so it does get a little bit busy. They offer live music here. It's just a really nice spot to have a drink. Right in front of the bar is Cruise Next. Here you can book your next cruise. They do offer incentives. And keep in mind, if you book while you're on board and you're booked with us, we do get credit for it. But here's the thing. You'll need to give us a call as soon as you get back because we're going to give you that additional discount. Folks, thank you for joining me on the tour. My name is Jason. Remember to get the best rate guaranteed. Give us a call. My number's right there on the screen. Have a blessed day.